again. So it is Monday today and the weather's awful. Oh my gosh. So I looked at the weather forecast for this weekend because I had this weekend off and I was looking at the forecast and it was supposed to be dry all weekend and we did not have one dry day. So Saturday it rained <laughs> but not heavy just like drizzle and um, for a few hours and that was pain in the bum and then yesterday it was a lovely day gorgeous and I thought yes so I went to the allotment and then I came home about half past four I think it was and I went to see my dad and my son was with my dad so um, he stayed with him while I went up the allotment for a couple of hours and he was building Lego and they were just watching films and I had a lovely time and I got loads done and I was super chuffed and I was like yay it's drying out it's beautiful because it's easier to work when it's drying out but not too dry because it goes like concrete anyway got my son came upstairs put the kettle on turned around and it was absolutely chucking it down I said to my son oh my gosh it's absolutely chucking it down he said yeah 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 that's what I said and I didn't hear him say it but I couldn't believe it out of nowhere and it hasn't stopped since um we've had gale force winds polytunnel still up yay I have done some work in the allotment so um hopefully i'm gonna try and get up there in between showers uh to show you what i've done even if it's a video and i have to talk over because we've got gale force winds at the moment but i have put like a netting up and the string i used to like sew it all together isn't the best string it's been in the shed since last year and it was snapping a lot in places so i don't know but i buried it and I put stones on it so hopefully um, even if it comes off, it hasn't gone far. That's the plan. But um, oh, let me show you what I got yesterday. I was doing some foraging and I picked some uh, daisies. Daisies. And I'm going to dry these and I'm going to make some daisy balm. Because um, I have like little sunspots on my head. And I made some, I, I read that daisy balm was really, really good to get rid of them and or to lighten them they don't get rid of them they lighten them and I use them and then uh, I run out and I can tell I can notice this year is that they've come back again um, so I'm gonna make some daisy balm I'm just gonna dry these a little bit and then I will do a video on that and show you how I do it sorry that was that was work cool sorted i've got this thing and i've had it for absolute years i didn't realize it's when i get like stressed bit of anxiety a bit of worry and i know i've got a lot going on on my plate and i've never related the two and i just thought it was a thing and i was weird and that's why i have but there's actually a name for it and it's called exploding head syndrome and basically it's when you're sleeping and you hear loud bangs and it wakes you up like an explosion. Um, I don't get that. I don't get, I get like knocking but really, really loud. I suppose, and bangs, I don't get ex boom explosions. I get bangs and knocking. It doesn't happen every night, but I've been having them very frequent recently and obviously I know why I'm getting them. But yesterday, after being at the allotment, my dad had had a really good day. I had a chat with him. He was more accepting of the move and willing to, you know, accept it instead of fight it and get worried. And he was like, oh, I feel better now I've talked about it. And I was like, oh, great. So went to bed and then about 20 to 1 this morning, it happened and it was like five loud bangs and I wake up my heartbeat is racing it scares me so much and then um, there's two things I think about straight away one oh my gosh and for my dad falling and two as I, I 
have I left the door unlocked or is somebody breaking in and I need to get to my son. I kind of come round and realise what's happened and why it is. When it first started happening, I thought somebody was banging on the door and I'd go down at two, three o'clock in the morning, open the door, thinking there was somebody there, thinking my brother was there needing help. Um, and I know that was a really silly thing to do because if somebody was knocking on the door at that more time of the morning, I shouldn't have answered it. Um, but yeah, that happened last night. So I was awake till about 20 to 5 this morning. Oh, just makes me really tired, really tired. Anyway, I am going to have a cup of tea now and toast and then I am off to work and hopefully if it stays dry we'll pop to the allotment. Right, I will see you in a bit. Hi guys, don't know if you see me, I am back up the allotment and the sun is out, yay! It is really, really rainy. Oh my, um, windy, really windy. So I'm going to try and film in between gusts. Um, and show you what I've done. So I'll start in this corner. Really sorry about the wind. Um, I planted out some poppies here. They uh, they weren't doing very good in there. I left them too long, and I sowed too many seeds per cell. But anyway, we'll see. Um, I put them in. They've got two choices, haven't they? So I got this brassica cage up um, the lady sewed some of it together and then I've I've done a bit more with some string but I don't know what's going on there it looks like some kind of a hood but it's it stayed, it survived I'm thinking maybe it's because the wind can blow straight through it uh, so I've just got this bit to tidy here now and dig over and I'm going to have a load of flowers here. I'm going to make this a flower bed and in here this is going to be my brassica cage so the door will be that side um, and I've started bringing stuff down. I've got some lettuce here that's black seeded Simpson. I don't know how much cold that can tolerate because I've brought it down it doesn't look very happy it has been in the polytunnel at home and I've brought some Romanesco cauliflowers down with me. They were in the polytunnel, they were being eaten alive by the slugs, so I've brought them in the house and potted them on. Um, they've had about a week now in the house and I've just brought them back down again so hopefully they're strong enough now to survive the nibbles. And then I have put this arch in as well. And this is for my sweet peas. So, and I've planted them out. These have been in the polytunnel now ages. They'll be fine. They're really hardy. I've put six this side. And six this side. I've put some manure in first. I've buried this in the ground. It's still very wobbly. I'm going to have to stake it down, I think. I've done it that side. I haven't done it this side I might tie it to the um, brassica cage we'll see yeah and then I've cleared this strip here and I've planted under the tunnel here some purple kohlrabi I've got some green one in the house that I need to bring down but I need to um, just condition it first to the cold weather. Oh, sorry. I can hear the wind coming, it's really spooky. Anyway, they're looking okay. And I'll just leave this on, cover it. I'll put some sticks in here to mark where I want the paths and the bed. And this is the next bed now that I'm going to get done. This is where the peas are going to go. Then I've got cucumbers and then sweet corn and beans. So this is the bed where I had my currant bushes for years. And um, this tree here. So I've moved them over there, the currant bushes. And then I've been digging and digging this bed. It's full of roots. 
from the tree and from the um, currant bushes as well and the goose there was a gooseberry bush here as well so at the end there I've put some gladioli and some flower seeds I had just mixed flower seeds and I've put them in and I've been digging over this and getting like loads of roots out you can see here sorry about my shadow there's loads of roots so what I'm going to do in this bed is I'm going to put some flowers because some flowers really really help the soil I've got foxes or something digging in my potato bed Ooh. onions here are taking the cover off now they're looking really good gorgeous and I've also dug this in right by the tree now so this is a different type of lettuce this is called Valmir and basically it's like a cos lettuce but it's cut and covered again so you just pick the leaves I don't know how well it's going to do but I'm just stacking it out And then I've got the broad beans out as well. These were going to go in the... Um, oh, I'm so tired today, guys. I can't even think. Raised bed at home. But of course, because we're moving, I'm not filling it. I'm not sorting it out. Um, I'm not filling it with veg. So I bought the broad beans and put them here. And I've got some spring onions to go out. And some beetroot as well to go here. So I planted some gladioli here and they're coming a weed and I think I put some flower seeds down as well bindweed growing so fast dug over here as well gave it one dig then I did it another dig Just got the rest to do Some more gladiolis coming up there and here. Oh, good because I know I put a lot of gladiolis on my other plot and they were really nice ones as well. But I'm glad I put a few here, I couldn't remember how many I'd put this side. But I have got some more to go out as well. I need to bring the strawberries down, put them here. But, oh, I know it doesn't look like I've done that much considering I was here a lot over the weekend um, but yeah these jobs take time and the way I'm doing it is just getting a bed ready and planting stuff or getting bringing stuff down ready to plant in that space and that's spurring me to keep going then so I've just planted some pea seeds so they can as soon as they come up they can go out hopefully in the next couple of weeks maybe beginning of may middle of may something like that so i need to get this bed ready now to um plant them that's the next bed i need to put some compost in here i've got a bit of manure i'm gonna put some compost in I've got some perennial uh, cauliflowers to go in or broccoli, nine star. Um, I had loads of them and I was going to share them with my plot neighbour, but the slugs got them. So I've literally got two now. Urgh, naughty slugs. Poppy, Poppy isn't as big this year. I think I might need to give it some food. There's some baby ones, yay! They uh, they grew last year, so uh, they'll be nice and strong. But yeah, that's usually massive by now, but it's not. So I think I need to feed it a little poppy. Oh, the 
ground's so wet again. It's drying out beautifully. Not so much now. So, just a real quickie now because the sky is going black and I don't want my camera and my phone getting wet because I've only bought my little basket. So, I've put in my Romanesco cauliflowers. I've got seven this side, three that side. I am not putting my lettuce in yet. I've got manure and compost in here and I'm going to add some fish, blood and bone. I have just found some organic slug pellets. But at the moment, my lettuce and broad beans are fine. They've had little nibbles, but nothing major. And my kohlrabi is okay too. So if I see it really getting attacked, I'll put a sprinkle down. But they always say, don't they, if you put them down, it attracts the slugs. So hopefully I won't get too many. I've been chucking all the slugs in the compost bins. So hopefully that'll... That'll make me some nice compost as well. Sorry if you've got OCD, my path is not straight. Okay, I think, well, I just made it back in time before it starts raining. I did not water those Romanesco cauliflowers in. I think we're going to have enough rain. If not, I will go up there later and uh, water. But, um, yeah, I didn't water now. I just came straight from there. Gosh, it's warm. My glasses are steaming up. So these are the green kohlrabi. Uh, they need to go outside into the polytunnel um, to climatise. I can't think of the word guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so tired today. But I was told if I, keep, I do this with all my plants, I stroke them like this. And this acts like the wind. I know like some plants don't like the cold I know that but more often than not when you put your plants out it is the wind that kills them and, and not the cold temperatures so um, if I don't get chance to put these I just don't want them to be eaten in the polytunnel even though I've put the slug traps out and I am catching hundreds of those baby slugs in the slug traps um, I want to give these a fighting chance so I just stroke them like this I mimic the wind and that seems to help them plus I just like stroking my plants and I talk to them my sister bought me a card for my birthday one year saying crazy plant lady <laughs> absolutely that is what I am but yeah Aren't they gorgeous? These are so much healthier than the purple ones. But then again, I potted these on. All my windowsills are full again. I need to, um, because I put some of the brassicas out and then I bought them back in again because they were being eaten. I had gorgeous, gorgeous. These, some of these are green sprouts. Uh, the nine star broccoli. Um, a Romanesco and a green sprouting. I've only got one left of them because the slugs had them all. But I'm hoping that these are the nine star. Look at that. That's all that's left on that one. So I've planted a few more and I've got some coming up now. So hopefully I will have some perennial broccoli or cauliflower. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's broccoli. But it's white like cauliflower. This weather, and apparently there's been a tornado somewhere. It was in Stoke on Trent. Some people are saying possible tornado. It might just been a freak gust of wind, but it knocked them tourists over and everything. Flying caused a bit of damage. Right, I am gonna have a cup of tea now. I'm gonna put some washing on, put some, and then put it out to dry on the clothes horse. So when I did my Asda haul, I bought some nuts and I told you I was going to do a recipe with them. I haven't got round to it, um, but I'm going to do it today. Just slightly different, as always. I'm just going to use what I've got on hand. I was going to make this in my little food blender, but it's down in my dad's and I can't be bothered to go and get it. So I've got a coffee grinder here, so I'm just going to grind it up a little bit in here. I'm going to grind some nuts and some herbs. Um, or spices and make dukkha. I had it when 
I went out with my brother and my dad and I've had it before, I've made it before and you know like, oh, I don't know, I just totally forgot that, um, that I like it. You know, you, you don't have something for ages, you forget. I was going to roast these but they're already roasted so I don't need to. Now then, apparently the main ingredient to dukkha is sesame seeds but I don't have any of them so I'm not going to use them and I don't think I used it, I don't know, I can't remember. So I'm just going to put some pistachios in and you don't want it like a fine powder, you want it a little bit crunchy. They eat this um, a lot in Egypt so you know or my mum always used to say if you've got, if you've got potatoes and eggs you'll never go hungry well in Egypt they say if you've got bread and dukkha you will never go hungry there's loads of different recipes out there because it depends on basically each family each family have their own little recipe so I'm gonna do this now and see how it goes so you can use any nuts for this it doesn't matter and it just depends what you've got if you can see in there so in here I've got pistachios hazelnuts cashew nuts walnuts and almonds I haven't blended it too much you don't want it too powdery you want that little bit of texture to it and what I had when we went out is I had um, tender stem broccoli with a lemon yogurt um, dressing and this dukkha oh and it was just gorgeous it was absolutely lovely and then the plan was with that cheap um, veg I was going to do some green beans but I never got around to it um, so now I just fancy a little bit of salad so I've got my yoghurt straining here and I'm gonna have it with some salad as a dressing okay you can use whole spices but um just for convenience today i'm going to use ground and i'm going to use um cumin coriander don't want a lot maybe quarter of a teaspoon and then i'll try it and see if i want more mix it up don't forget if you want a bit of heat in this you could add a bit of cayenne pepper but it's absolutely gorgeous and it's really cheap to make add a bit of salt i don't need a lot of salt in it because the pistachios were roasted and salted mmm that is gorgeous I've made mine a little bit too powdery, that um, coffee grinder is very fierce. Okay, so in this bowl I've got lettuce and cucumber and in it here I have got buckwheat, white rice, wild rice and green split lentils. I've just boiled them in some water with cardamom and some salt. In here I've got some grated carrot. I'm trying to make interesting things out of stuff that I've already got. What inspired this was I saw something on Facebook, um, a Buddha bowl, and I thought, oh gosh, I haven't had that for ages. What have I got to make a Buddha bowl with? So this is what I've come up with so far. Now then, I had a lemon yogurt, but I haven't got any lemon, but I have got some limes, so I'm just going to do a tiny bit of this. Just a little squirt of lime. Oh, gorgeous. And then I'm going to drip this onto my salad. And this is just um, fat 
free natural yogurt. Then we've got some Ducca. I absolutely love it. And then I found a fish finger <laughs> in the um, in the freezer, so I'm going to have that as well. There we go. Look at that. Let's have a little taste. I want a bit of this yogurt and a bit of this rice. Mmm. Oh wow. Try it with a bit of lettuce. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. Gorgeous. As you can tell. Mmm. Beautiful. Right. So that is it for today guys. I am going to go and eat this now. Ducker. Absolutely amazing. Really cheap. So thanks for watching guys. Take care and I will see you soon. Gorgeous. <laughs> Bye.